Jason and I are part of the Star Wars and the Knights of the Old Republic Let's Play series. I have no idea what part we're even on anymore. But we just finished up killing Saul Karev. The young one that bought a docking bay doors on the bridge. However, Saul told Karf something. Karf's pissed off at Basil, and Basil's promises answers once we get on the Epilogue. So basically, something happened and we don't even know what the hell it was. This time for us to get the hell off this damn ship. Oh, I need to <laughs> yeah, try to get off this damn thing as quickly as possible. Oh god, we're, you guys are kind of late. You asked for this. Oh, there's gonna be more. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, there's an area. Oh, hi, dude. You, um, you're kind of... Did the dog just go right here? There's, like, no organization between these guys. Yeah, and there's another one. They're just kind of one by one. Oh, here comes this guy. was kind of close. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the elevator, which is right here. And head down into the hangar bay. Scary. Wait, where the fuck's Carve? Jesus Christ. There he is. Alright, now we head to the hangar. Escandarus, we took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. Alright, good, Nate. They did a pretty good. I'm surprised that they didn't make that a part of uh, this, <laughs> this section where you actually play the secondary group trying to take that guy on. We're just gonna stick with one lightsaber for the rest of the game. You know, mine, mine as well. Alright. Actually, how many more is it gonna take? A lot. Okay. It's gonna take us a while to be full, but yeah. Don't get to the next level. Really need them at the start of the fucking game. 
and there's a hanger, there's Evan Hawk. We'll wave at Evan Hawk. Okay, let's see, is there anything else in here? Is there, is there anything in that room? Can we go in there? No. Okay, let's make sure everyone's healed up. We didn't make it. Darth Malak. You are <laughs> a good job, Carl. I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. I've spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? Uh, the reunion, what are you talking about? What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? <laughs> All this time, and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training. But this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them. What you once were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord, and know that I have taken your place. So yeah, that's that's the big twist of the whole game. That we we were actually Revan the whole time. You do not yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. 
once I served you, Revan. But I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When that Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed that Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. You must have seen flashes of your old life in your dreams, Revan. Memories bubbling up to the surface. Surely you must remember the battle in which you were captured. Yeah, uh, Basilis is true. It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. Yeah, why just don't want the me Jedi die? hold all life sacred, even that of a Sith Lord. I could not just let you die, Revan, not if it was possible to save you. Bastila hides the truth behind noble words, Revan. The Jedi needed the memories buried deep in your wounded mind. There was no other way to bring them out. They had to keep you alive. This is a Y program. We couldn't identity. simply restore your true identity. Revan was too dangerous. But locked inside your mind was information the Republic needed. The secrets of the Starforge. The Council created an identity for you. A soldier under my command. Your subconscious memories were supposed to lead me to the Starforge. There was no other way to get the information. They made you their puppet, Revan. And Bastila was the handler pulling your strings. Yeah, why didn't that, uh, why didn't they choose, the council choose her for? When I used my force powers to keep you alive on that bridge, it created our bond. I convinced the council that I could use that bond to draw out your memories and lead us to the Starforge. Tell the truth, Bastila. You wanted to taste the dark side for yourself. You knew the only way the council would permit you to explore the Sith's power was through Revan's lost memories. No. I wanted to help you, Revan. I thought this mission would redeem you, that it would atone for your past crimes. How else could you be saved? Oh, yeah, but what if I remember who I really was? You had to be healed so I could try and draw out the secrets of the Starforge. It was our only hope of stopping the Sith. It was a risk the Council chose to take. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus apprentice, as it was meant to be. Oh, well, so much for Basila and Akar for helping me. Alright, so let's turn on our uh, force speed. And yeah, fuck. Alright, here we go. Let's go fuck up. Fuck up now. Oh, God. I was gonna fuck up dog, but oh what the jeez god damn it. Well, if I can like get away from him using like a million damn force power no. Shit, I really need this. Oh well oh, I'm now in a tornado, oops. Ah, oh, he does what I do, he runs away to heal himself, okay. Uh let's see. Oh my god, I got 56 of these things? Might as well just use them all and save them. Oh, actually... I got enough force here. Okay, let's go ahead and save here just in case he fucks me up badly on this next part. 
Okay. Can I? Oh my god, I can't walk. Are you serious? No. Okay. That's saying both cars from Basil are stuck in a stasis field, so they're, they're no help to me at all right now. Okay, he's got that door locked, so I'm going to go in a different way. And it's really red down here. It really sets the mood. No, I can't go that way. Maybe he's over here. Looks like this is some of a bitch. There he is. Alright, put on the master speed again. <laughs> Damn, I really fucked it up there. Oh, oh, okay, that's shit. This isn't over, Malak. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand Wait, against Carson? my power. For the Jedi! I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. Oh, there's Carf over there. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! Oh, well, she's screwed. Sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Uh, well, but Bastila, we have to help her. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on! Well, we lost Bastila. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. Oh wait, I can't walk. Well, uh, Ready, Carve, you're gonna have to do this. Where did I go? Where, where's Carf at? He just disappeared. All right, get us the hell off this damn ship. Are they not going fire on us? Oh, there you go. Now they're firing on us. And fires after us too, so kind of sucks that to reuse the cutscene. It didn't have anything else. Of course, they're going to send exactly six fires at us again. And that's, that's all they can afford. This is six. No more, no less. Yeah, I know that car. Where the fuck this one goes to? Wait, what in the fuck's this? I promise cause the program to stop working correctly when this is closed program notify you when a solution is available. Uh <laughs> what the fuck? Well I I crashed the game. It was just too much for my PC to handle. Ugh. Well, um, thank you all for watching. We'll see what happens in the next part. Oops, my bad. Catch y'all later. Bye.